the 6th of May 1944. Following another day of disruption on the 5th to all air operations, better weather on the 6th meant that Eddie would finally be able to go back into the sky. Takeoff time would be later at 17.55 with reported cloud layers at 5,000 feet. A wind at ground level is a strong at 20 miles an hour south by east. Patrol will head south across the channel into the Normandy Bay. We are to patrol and reconnoitre the beachheads at Coastal Defence Sector G, west of Le Havre, before heading south and inland down to Le Beni Bocage, before heading north back across Coastal Defence Sector H2 off the coast of Carantan and returning back across the channel to home base. This patrol is predominantly reconnaissance, but as a free hunt, you are free to engage any enemy aircraft you encounter. Good hunting. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, heading out on patrol, just coming across the, um, the coast here. Uh, so this is the first beach sector we are to keep an eye on. I can see nothing much to report. Beaches look clear, don't they? We're not really here to do any photo of constants or anything. Oh, so we're just flying to a cloud. Or just the edge of one. So yeah, we're here just to make sure there's nothing uh, obvious. Like a panzer division sitting on the beach or anything stupid like that. But um, yeah, mainly to uh, just keep an eye on everything, make sure everything's looking good nothing out of place and uh, any enemy aircraft in the area we can um, feel free to engage if they're uh, well if it's um, advantageous to us yes we're gonna stick to our rule if there's two of them we might engage if there's more uh, we'll probably look to get out of there um, you know if we can surprise attack two aircraft then that's fine, we can have shots at one, hopefully damage it or finish it off and then switch to the second. Uh, anything more than that, I think we're a bit of a sitting duck. But um, yeah, here's these clouds at 5,000 feet. Other than that, it's a lovely day. The, most of the storm clouds seem to have cleared through, finally. Hello, we've got people on our tail. Crap, there's lots of them. Oh my god. Hold on, Jack. We are pulling some manoeuvres here. Keep hold of your breakfast. Well, it's actually gone 6 pm. Can you see him? I'm just diving as fast as I can. Bottles to the firewalls. There's one over there. I counted four, I think, maybe more. Saw them late as we we're coming from in and out of these clouds. There's our shadow there and I don't see any shadows directly behind which can fire at us so I'm 
going to ease off the throttle, going back to the uh, front line. Wow, that was quite a build-up of enemy aircraft. I still can't see them, so I'm going to start. Oh, they're still back there. They're still back there, right? Crikey Moses, right, we're going to run today, it would seem. Oh, I can see him through there, right. We are running for it. We are running for it. Uh, there's no chance we're going to be able to take on four or more. It's going to hug the sea and um, floor it back. Bit of a short mission, this one. Have a look at the coastline. You see all the coastal defences. Okay, I th think we might have lost them. I think we might have lost them, Jack. Calm down. I think we're okay. Famous last words, but yeah. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have to call this patrol short, I think. There's um, not much happening now. Um, we know they've got large numbers of enemy aircraft up. Uh, we'd be foolish to go against them. Coast looks clear. Can't quite see Blighty yet, but if we keep heading north we'll um, we'll get there eventually. We'll probably back off a little bit on the old throttles. It's not overstress these engines anymore. Oh hello. Um, we've got two contacts in front of us. As we're coming over the channel couple of contacts over there. I'll just adjust my course by a few degrees and we'll um, trade on them. It could be friendly aircraft returning home of course, but it might not be. So um, we'll certainly go and check that out. Okay, there we are. We're closing in on them now. They look very radial engines and the angle of the, the wings going up towards the wingtips makes me think, oh, along with the black smoke, makes me think they are, they are FW-190s. So let's close in on them. I think this one, they've got bombs under the wings and the fuselage. Have they seen us? One anyway, well, I don't know if he's, he's been got, but I've, I've tagged him definitely. Maybe I should have gone a bit harder, but I'm on the second flight lead. One, one in, two in. Okay, I'm just circling around. I, I think the first one went in. I think we got the um, confirmation tone. I just want to make sure before I straighten out. So come on, whizzing in at an angle. 
We've been hit. Oh, it's something. I can't even... Where are we? I see the sea. Oh, God. Right. We obviously didn't get him. Right. We are... Oh, I can't control the aircraft. I've got no um, pitch control. Got a bit of... Roll. We might need to bail. Jack, get the dinghy ready. We might... Jack! Oh god, no! Jack's gone. He's gone the way of Sebastian. I can't see a thing. I'm badly wounded. I'm losing blood. I'm blacking out. All I can do is roll gently from side to side. I'm going to try and get back to Britain the uh, British coast and then um, bail out near a town so hopefully I can get some medical treatment oh I think I just saw a target behind me sorry target an enemy behind me I think they're right behind me. I think we're just about outpacing them because I haven't had the death blow coming in just yet. We're a sitting duck. I think I'm going north. At the moment I'm just trying to get away from them. I'm just going to go as long as the aircraft can and as long as I stay conscious. The engine's packed up. Right, we're getting out of here. Oh, we've been hit hit hard I can't bail out I can't bail out we're going in we're going in And sadly, that brings the end to brave Eddie James. He downed two light aircraft, I hate when it says light aircraft, two enemy fighters, two FW-190s, but then he was jumped on the way home by, uh, it looked like three or four um, aircraft who weren't flying escort to the two that we attacked. I wonder if the ones chasing us earlier didn't give up the fight, we just lost lost sight of them and they eventually caught up with us um, then with the the engine out uh, we were unable to uh, outrun them and due to his injuries uh, I'm guessing that is the reason why Eddie couldn't bail out we were we were doing well down to about 220 miles now at the end there uh, and yeah he wouldn't bail so it's, it must be due to the injury he's, he's suffered during the uh, the first attack ah another brave pilot lost confirmation then Eddie James sadly was killed in action as another bright young thing is extinguished from this universe Eddie James certainly made his mark on the war he was a flight sergeant in the 418th Royal Canadian Air Force, as we know. Sadly, his status is now killed. He received the wound stripe. He was mentioned in dispatches on the 26th of, of April 1944, and then four days later received the Distinguished Flying Medal, which is fantastic. He ends with career stats of seven aircraft kills, two transport kills, 
uh, two A uh, AAA guns and seven searchlights destroyed on numerous nighttime bombing raids over enemy airfields. So the squadron mourns the passing of another bright young star, as I said. There he is. Um, so as we leave it, the squadron is on 79 aircraft kills, 28 vehicle, 14 railroad, 45 armaments, 28 building, 10 marine. Ah, and there we have it. Only eight hours of flight experience. 13 um, sorties he was sent out on, 11 successful. Obviously, a couple were um, aborted due to poor weather. So, as we look at the old newspaper from a week ago, we never were destined to get on to the number uh, 40, top 40 aces in the sky in the RAF, but um, yes, another sad. Well, these careers always inevitably end in a sad moment, um, and only the fortunate few get to uh, tell a tale about it afterwards. So I hope you've enjoyed Eddie James's career and following along with his adventures and mishaps and uh, unfortunate events. Uh, not only do we remember Eddie, but we also remember Sebastian and Jacques, our two navigator we lost along the way as well. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.